Well, Marker Mike coming at you today. Uh, it's the 7th of October, so I've been back now for, let's see, probably 1st of August when I when we did our ride. But uh, anyway, we got our campsite all set up and everything, and uh, took some pictures of the camping area and the RV park. Uh, RV park's a pretty good place to go to. It's about $50 a night. Uh, with full hookups and everything for the RV or guys out there but uh, anyway uh, I'm finally made it there and uh, uh, we're gonna next morning probably around 7 38 o'clock we'll be off on our ride to the Grand Canyon um, it's gonna be an awesome experience I've got a lot of pictures and a lot of video of that area so Anyway, I'll crunch it down so it's not so long, but uh, uh, we went around the whole rim of the Grand Canyon and that was an awesome trip. Roughly about uh, 120 miles. Anyway, uh, continue to go on with me on this ride and, uh, and uh, we're going to have a really good time. Uh, uh, when you're retired, you kind of do stuff like doing gardening and stuff. And I got some of these water pipes out there PVC I got these little misters on there and it comes on for like three minutes uh, three times a day and uh, uh, sprays my garden keeps it moist and stuff so I don't have to do nothing with it every once in a while I gotta get in there and kind of weed it a little bit but anyway um, last night I did a little bit of a fire uh, brought my TV out watched a little bit of TV under the stars uh, it's getting that time of year for doing that sort of thing. Um, anyway, anyway, yeah, come on for the ride, and we will uh, head on to the Grand Canyon. Uh, Williams is the gateway to the Grand Canyon, and that's roughly about 85 miles uh, from Williams to the Grand Canyon. So come along, and uh, let's have a good time together.
it by your side Nothing in the world's gonna be this high I've been searching You know, now being able to talk to you guys sure makes this ride more enjoyable, that's for sure. That's why it was rough on me coming out because I 40, you know. Yes. So man, interstate is like all you want to do is just sit there at 80 all day. Yeah, it's far as far as well. I can't kind of disappear in the in the road, road does so long and straight. Uh huh. Jim and I were talking about that when we were coming out. Oh, you mean because of mostly highway? What would be your second opp uh, second opportunity if that wasn't the case? Would you, do you think of something else or some other place to go? I don't know. I, well, when, I, when I'm going somewhere, I want to get there quickly. Especially, like, uh, when we're coming from Kansas down here. Uh-huh. My focus, my goal was just get to Arizona. Right. Quickly as possible. I don't need to see anything about this place. Right, but then your fuel would have went down the toilet. Exactly. Oh really? Yeah. I don't know, without Without the wind that I had to beat, I could probably make about a 180, but that's probably close to my last bar on the tank. Like I said, I had that shell shocker when I had to turn around because one gas station was closed and I had to backtrack 30 miles. But nowadays, especially in this world, Anytime I still hit half, I next gas station I get gas. I guess I even had one time that I hit half and it was like almost down to below a quarter by the time I did get to a gas station. Just look at gas cans nowadays when they made them all safety this and safety that. Got a car in your lane coming down. And I remember 10, 15 years ago you get a gas can for five bucks and now they're like 20, 28 dollars. comes an idiot I can't believe people pass when there's when there you can't see ahead of you they're probably all pissed off at us There's that guy that was from the McDonald's coming up on us. The guy who couldn't figure out his order. I think that's him. No, that's not him. He had a Toyota. That California. 
California guy is kind of on your butt a little bit. Some California. I don't know why people have to hug up on people like that, you know, when they're gonna pass you, they could still do their car length to still be able to pass you. If it's a four lane road where you got two, two lanes on each way, if somebody's in the left lane, hold the left lane, and I don't care if they're running the speed limit or not. There's a sign there, slower traffic, keep driving. Yeah. I won't tailgate anyone if it's in the left lane. You, know, you got two lanes to run in. If he's in the left lane, I won't tailgate him. But that guy's in the left lane, or in the fast lane, I don't care if he is running the speed limit. I'm going to tailgate him. Get out of my way. Another truck coming up. There's a four lane road, there's a four lane road. You got no reason to log this up there to drive like uh about to have it please. Yeah. Nothing to record through here, so I don't even have my camera on. I haven't had it for like 15 miles, so. You like that water? I got up in the morning and my butt was nice and cool <laughs> and uh, I don't feel absolutely no pain going on through my backside I think I'm still good we went 27 miles I could probably do another 70 80 without before I even have to stop I mean I, I'm just so comfortable right now it's unreal I'm not my mind is not focused on my rear end it's more focused on the ride now so it, it's really like I said, I had air in it for the Idaho ride. The Idaho ride was good for 70 miles maybe, and then but when I put the water in it, it's like, man, that's like night and day. Uh, water, but I, don't, I don't use mine very often. Oh really? Your seat's pretty good without it most of the time? a fellow biker, a couple of them. I didn't catch what that second bike was. I don't pay any attention to any bikes. I mean, I don't, I could tell you what they are. And you know, in uh, Wichita, I think I see one, a two, maybe two of these bikes right here. Oh really? Yeah. The first one was one of those ones I think Jim was talking about. The uh, it's like one of those uh, what do they call those bikes? You know where they they sit up high. You're they, up. Huh? No, you broke up there for a second. Oh. Uh, what was hey Jim? What was that bike you called that you said? Would you get one of those or something? They're kind of like an off and on road type of deal. Adventure bike. Yeah. yeah, that's the first one that went by was a venture bike. Kawasaki seems to have the best prices on the venture bikes. Uh, I think the uh, 
uh, Africa Twin, I think they love their bikes too much because I've seen the price on those. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. They're up around 18 grand for an Africa Twin. Then you got to pull the engine out to change the air filter. Are you on your original air filter? Yeah, recommended I think 68,000. Oh, and you're all, you're almost getting there, aren't you? Uh, 13.8. Oh. Is that what I think it is on the left? Airplane tells. Well, it's 55 now, so... <laughs> yeah, it is airplanes. It is. An airplane junkyard. Pacific Airlines. Planes. Oh, it's an airplane. Arizona and California are known for long-term storage facilities for aircraft. Uh, the following, uh, davis Monthan Air Force Base, that's out by Tucson, Kingman Field, Arizona, Phoenix Goodyear, Arizona, and Penal Air Park, Arizona. The reason why these places are a good place to uh, store aircraft is there's zero moisture zero humidity an aircraft can sit out there and last for years and be able to be be brought out of mothballs even 20 30 years old and, and flying again it's interesting pull that stuff up on uh on youtube and uh it's and it's interesting uh uh thing that you'll find uh what's all detailed into bringing an aircraft in setting it up for storage and they also destroy them there as well if that time comes Looks like about, what, 18 miles, maybe 20 miles to go. I think we got sworn at. <laughs> I think we got sworn at that guy had his window down and yelled something out at us. Ah, don't need worry about him. Ground looks good. Did I start to slow down too fast for you? I had to hit my brakes. Oh. And that's why he was putting a fist. Yeah, I can see that. I, I try to stay far enough behind Sherman, so if we do break, then I can navigate a little easier, but... That front brake. Yeah. Yeah, we need to not have any incidences on this ride. I ain't worried about you guys hitting me back in. <laughs> uh. 
info turn is 1610. Caution wildlife. Wildlife and fire. I thought I said wildlife. I could be wrong. I maybe I didn't see it right. Park entrance five miles. Grand Canyon Village is 15. Usually when I'm following you guys, I'll do uh, like 1001, 1002. So like when uh, you pass uh, one of those deflectors, I've got at least uh, four, five car lengths behind you. Well, I had no problem stopping behind you. Yeah. Yeah, these assholes. Well, it's just like, just like Sherman, man. The cars have passed me, and they're... I, I was asking, I says, how far, how close is that guy up to your rear end? I'll kick my speed up a little bit more. That's how I know when to get my speed just right distance-wise is all like when Sherman passes, I'll start going 1,001, 1,002, and then if my, my numbers keep getting bigger, then I know I got to kick it up one or two points. What's that? There's that little city up here. Yeah. Grand Canyon Visitor Center. It must be just over the hill where we got to go into the park. the helicopters. That'd be fun to do. Stupid highway bank dragon. Kind of lean them over a little bit. Yeah, your left side's up too. Yeah, I put them up and get the curve dragon. Oh, I gotcha. Coming through that roundabout. Right. Uh, up to the dragon. Grand Canyon entrance, one mile ahead.
park entrance. Kind of like Yellowstone. Door park entrance is kind of the same way. They gave us five dollars off. It's amazing. You have a private vehicle like you have ten people and it's thirty-five bucks. But if you're on a motorcycle, you I need pedals on this a motorcycle. Huh. Get it for twenty bucks. Yeah. Well we are pedestrians, we're just on a motorcycle, so. Yeah, but you gotta keep your feet on the ground. Says credit and debit only, no cash. You need a, a debit card? Yeah, I'll tell you what, if you want. What I could do, I could just pay for all three and then we could figure it out in the end. If you want to do that. Uh, I got mine. Well, you got a debit card? Uh, it says credit or debit. Uh, I got a debit card, a credit card, debit card, so, you yeah. know. That cash, so. However you want to do it. I just, if you didn't have a debit card or available or something, I'd, you know, I'm supposed to cover you and you can give me money and pay me back later. Either or, or, or I could pay for all of us and then we could figure it out later, either way. Or we can do it all single, however you guys want to do it. Do it separate, don't have to worry about it. That's fine. <sighs> Man alive, is this guy the same guy that ordered Mc mail at McDonald's or something up there? Not that all the military guys. There's a difference. Okay. No, we just want thirty dollars. Pay for all three. Do I need ID or something then? Uh, do what now? Okay. okay. Show, you Show your veteran ID. ID. Oh. I can only pay for myself. How's this working again? What? What? How's this working again? Are we free? Are we at a reduced rate? Or how's that work? You'll have to wait. I can't understand you. Okay. Yes. Oh, uh, maps? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Let's stop up here somewhere and look at it. Up on here, sure. Do what? Oh, a map. Uh, he wants a map. Man, that's taking a little while. For all my YouTube folks out there, uh, it can be a wait just trying to get through the gate. <laughs> uh. Okay. Yeah, he wants a map also. What did Jim have to sign? Sign your pass. What? Take it. Do I just take it? Yeah. yeah.
we good to go? Hold on guys, let me get back. Common not in a hurry, yeah, so 103 given okay, we're ready. I'm ready. So when Jim says okay, we'll go. Well, I'm on the okay. zone out through here. Ready? ready? Yep. Alrighty, free at last. We're free at last. You got that car to your right, uh, Sherman. Yeah, I thought he better. Looked like he wasn't paying attention. I thought he was gonna knock in the back right, the right side of you or something for a minute. Okay, we're officially in the Grand Canyon. Father's love 